Okay, so we're gonna start with page one of our mini album. First, get your base pocket that we already made. It's eight by six inches, and it should look like this. First open on the, the sides here. So get that out. And then you're going to create two flaps. So this first flap is going to measure eight inches tall by five and a half inches wide. Eight inches tall by five and a half inches wide. Put that in your scoreboard, five and a half inch side on top, and you're gonna score it at a half an inch. And then you will fold it and burnish it. Then you're just going to cut a piece that you're not going to score. It's going to be four and a half inches wide by seven and a half inches tall. Four and a half wide, seven and a half inches tall. You're not going to be scoring this at all. So what you're going to do next, I have my score tape on this left flap. This is going to be adhered to your base pocket on the left side. And you're gonna go all the way to the edge, line it up top to bottom, pull your score tape. And then just give that a good burnish down. So we're going to be adhering this paper. This is from the 8x8 collection and you're going to cut it to fit on the base pocket itself. So since this is eight by six, this is going to be cut by seven and seven eighths, by five and seven eighths, and just make sure So one thing I forgot to do, and I just did it, um, miter the corners here. So I had to pull it up and miter my corners um, just so it looks better when you put the paper down. Forgot to do that. So I will mention it in the video, miter those corners. And then you're just going to get your paper um, from the 8x8 collection, this one, cut it ink it with vintage photo all the way around and I'm going to be putting score tape on mine and however you want to put yours down you put it down just make sure you do clear this flap that you are far enough away from the edge and if you need to trim it a little bit more trim it a little bit more and I'll be right back once I get my page down And you'll need another flap that's going to go on the right side. And you will be cutting this six and five eighths inches tall by three and seven eighths inches wide. And you will put it, be putting it in your scoreboard. And you will be scoring it at a half an inch. And then you will fold and burnish this piece. So the paper is in on this bottom piece. Now you're going to get your right flap. You're going to find the center of this six and five eighths inch side here where this hinge is. And you are going to align it a quarter of an inch in from the edge of the paper. So just find a quarter of an inch in and since you have this striped paper, once you find it, you can just find where you need to put it. So I need to put mine here. I found the center of this, which is four inches. I put a tick mark here. And here's my center here. Here is where my quarter of an inch is. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my score tape down and then I'm going to adhere this down on this piece, like this. And this time, when you put the tape on, do miter 
those corners may not need that because we're going to be um, putting paper over this anyway, but just in case. So I'm going to put mine right here and line it up and pull that tape and we'll be done with this. Okay, so this piece is down. So I inked the edges of this little flap too. Next, you're going to get this paper, which is basically this paper from the eight by eight, but it's the other side. And you're going to cut a piece that's an eighth of an inch shorter in height and width as this flap. You're going to ink the edges with your vintage photo, and then you are going to adhere this down like this. And I'm going to go ahead and put my score tape on and get this down, and then I will be right back. So you have this back piece in, you have this flap in, it's covered. Now you're going to work, we're gonna work on this, this uh, left flap that we put in. So we're going to be covering this. So you are going to get this paper from the eight by eight. This is the pattern that's on the back. You're going to cut it to the, to the right size. Make sure it's the same height as this paper that you've already put in. You want it to be the same height. So whatever you cut that to, cut that and then get your reveal on the sides one eighth less than the flap, and then you're going to adhere this down. So I'm going to go ahead and, since I use score tape and it takes me forever to pull it because I, I am so slow with that, I'm going to go ahead and pull that and I will be right back. One thing, before you do adhere your paper down, I ink the edges of my flap. You can see I inked all the edges of the flap, front and back, and the seam right here. And like on this one, I inked, I ink all the flaps. So I just think it gives it a better look. So, and make sure you ink your paper too, um, before you put it down. So we got that um, designer paper over the top of the flap here. Now you're going to get this piece. The one that was four and a half inches, make sure I got that right, four and a half by seven and a half inches tall. And what you're going to do is you're going to make this look like a tag at the top. What I did, because I can't measure straight, I can't draw straight, um, I score just at the top. I'm just showing you at the bottom here because I already did it up here. I score a half an inch here, and then I score a half an inch here, and then flip it over and score a half an inch here. And then you are just going to draw a line from where they intersect here, where these two points intersect to the corner of the page. You just draw a line, oops, you draw a line this way. Excuse me. You're going to be drawing a line, oh my gosh, not here, from this point to this point up here. And then you're just going to cut that off. So draw a line from this point to this point and cut it off. So that's what I did here. I put it in my paper trimmer because I can't cut straight and drew a line, um, cut it from here to here. And even that I didn't do perfect. But here it is. So get that piece. <laughs> a lot of work just for this little thing. And then you can get rid of these score marks. Let me see. Where's my bone folder? You just go over your score marks and it's pretty much gets, gets rid of them. You're going to be covering this with, you're going to be covering 
this up with paper anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I have some pencil marks here. Okay, so you got that, figured that out, right? Or you can just measure half an inch, if this is a half an inch, half an inch, and then do your, your things. So that's what you're going to do. Go ahead and ink this piece of um, this, this piece. So go ahead and ink it, and then that's what I'm gonna do, and I'll be right back. So you got those cut and you ink the paint that this little piece then you're going to get this from the patterns and solids and this piece is going to be cut um, to fit over here so it's like an eighth of an inch shorter width and height and then what i did is we are going to be putting another piece of paper in the center here I drew a half an inch border all the way around. So here's half an inch, half an inch, oops, half an inch, half an inch, half an inch. So there's a half an inch border all the way around this, um, this paper. So since you have your half an inch here, you can just go ahead, you're gonna be cutting just the top part so it will uh, this little triangle right here so you're going to go ahead and cut it from this point to this point if you want to draw a line you can or just put it in your paper trimmer and then cut that so I'm going to go ahead and cut my little triangles out there one other thing, once you cut your corners here, be sure to um, erase the pencil marks just in these corners here and down in through here. You want to leave this inner half inch um, pencil marks because we'll be using that in a little bit. Because once you ink, you cannot erase the pencil. Uh, how do I know? Because I've done that a billion times. So go ahead and erase the pencil and then, then do your inking. So this piece has been cut and inked and ready to go. I got my tape on it, so I'm going to go ahead and put my tape on this piece and adhere it down to this piece. Now, the way where this is going to go, this is going to be center top to bottom and let me take this off this piece this edge is basically going to be butting up to this edge right here of this flap that should give you if everything is put in right three quarters of an inch from the edge here so the most important thing is having three quarters of an edge reveal right here. So you want to have three quarters of an inch um, from this edge of the, the, the card stock to this edge right here. And it should be about, if you butt this up, that should give you about that three quarters of an inch. And then you just um, line it up top to bottom and basically what you're going to be doing is adhering this down on this sheet. But what I'm going to do, because it looks, there's going to be a little bit sticking out on this side. Um, I'm not going to adhere mine down on this side. I, I, I'll have some tape, but I'm not gonna pull that tape um, under here because I want to be able to cut a piece of paper and I'm not quite sure which one I want. And I'm gonna slide it under this little bit that's peeking out. Does that make sense? So if you're gluing it down, 
don't glue it all. Just have a little bit of, you know, room so you can slip a piece of paper under here. So we, it's, you're not just seeing, seeing the, the natural cardstock. It's going to be sticking out like that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my tape. I'm not going to pull my tape on this side until I get whatever um, paper I'm going to put under here, and then I will pull it. But for now, I'm just going to put this down here and get my tape on. So what I decided to do was just, I'm not going to hear it right now. I just left this side with no tape on it. Um, and once we decorate the inside panel, I'll know what, what um, designer paper I want to put on this edge. So I'm going to just put this aside. Next, what you're going to do is you are going to get this from the 12 by 12 collection. And you are going to cut it at the green edge. So if you see this green, the green edge, right here, this green edge that goes around. Not this green edge, this one. See the green plaid right there? There's a green line that goes all the way around, and that's the line you're going to use to, um, to, to follow so you can cut it. So you'll come up with this. And then you're going to ink, ink it, ink it, and you are going to be placing this on a piece of, of craft card stock that's cut like an eighth of an inch wider. And you are going to be putting, adhering this down on this piece of paper, on this piece of craft stock, craft, craft card stock. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and put some tape on here and adhere this down. Make sure you ink this piece too. Okay, need a recap here. So we have the top of this flap covered with the Santa paper. We have this inner part um, papered with this stripe paper. We put this holly paper from the eight by eight on the front flap. And then we're going to put that same holly paper on the back flap. Back flap. The only reason I added this little solid piece of the cranberry red was because I screwed up on my measurements and I cut it too short so I had to add a little spacer in there so you can always fix a mistake. So on this side we're also going to be putting that same holly paper in like that. Now this part here I should not have had you mitered these edges here. Should have left them straight. I will hopefully remember to make a note and tell you don't miter these corners. Because what you're going to do is you're going to butt up a piece of paper next to this edge here. And the paper that I am butting up to it, this craft card stock is four and a half inches wide by six and five eighths inches tall. Same height as this flap here. And you're going to butt that up and I drew a line so I have a continuation. You can see my line. I drew it from here and I continued it down here. So I made sure I was lining up this piece of craft card stock straight. So it would be like this. And I am going to be adhering that down. 
I left these edges straight corners and I rounded the end ones. So this is going to be like this. And on top of this, we are going to put, where did I, this paper, which is also from the 8x8 collection with the stamps on the back. This is actually going to be going over that craft card stock piece and it's going to be covering up the edge of this flap. So it's going to be like this. So the inside will look something like this once you're done. So go ahead and adhere the 8x8 holly paper on the inside flap here and on the inside flap here just cut it to make sure the height is the same as the height of this this piece here so let's get that down get this down cut this piece out and this piece just to let you know what my measurement is is like four and a half by almost six and a half and it's going to fit right in here so let me do that okay so remember this piece that we made so go ahead and get this piece so we are going to attach remember i said don't leave this edge un unglued or no tape here so what we're going to be doing is adding a little strip back here of, with this paper so get a piece of paper it's this going to be the same height as this gold paper so whatever your gold paper is that is the height you're going to make this one then you're going to put it on the back side like this line it up so this edge is flush with this edge and this back edge is flush with the this this edge so it's going to be lined up like that so they're lined up because what you're going to do is you're going to just get a, get your pencil and let me get it lined up again mark this because that's where you're going to make your cut and then once you get it marked then you're going to move it down and it'll it should slide into place so I'm going to go ahead and do that this doesn't have to be it can be as small as a half an inch or a third of an inch um, it doesn't have to be this wide this is just a scrap that I had so I'm going to cut that and I'll be right back So I cut my piece and it fits back there. And I am just going to go ahead and cut where my tape ended there. This is not quite a half an inch. So I'm just gonna cut this. The way this is going to be is it's going to stick out like an eighth of an inch back. This is the front, it's gonna be sticking out an eighth of an inch on the back side something like that so I'm going to go ahead and cut this and adhere this part down to the back side of this piece so this is going to go like this when we're done this is going to be in the front and just make sure that this peak, this part where you have um, this cranberry red paper, it's on this side, the right hand side of the front flap. So now this, this piece you're going to be adhering on onto this front flap of the Santa paper. Now what you're going to be doing is centering it top to bottom and this is going to be three quarters of an inch in from the side. So this 
something like that. And then when you flip it over, you'll just be seeing this little strip of the cranberry that we just put in. So since I'm doing my tape and I go slow because I'm going to be putting a line here, three quarters of an inch so I can line it up and make sure it's straight and get it, get it attached. And then we wait, 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 wait. This is where, this is where we need to add a ribbon. We're going to go ahead and get this piece from the eight by eight, and it is going to be fitting in the center of. Remember, we drew this um, little half inch square. Um, frame all the way around this gold piece. Well, that is where this is going to be fitting. This is going to be measuring, it's actually not quite three and three eighths by six and little over six and a quarter, not quite six and a half, but you just measure whatever you come out and it's gonna fit within that half inch border. And you're going to ink the edges and I'm going to erase all my, my pencil marks. So, it's hard, it's hard. So I will be back once I get this erased and this this other piece glued in so this is what you're going to do with this card so you are going to measure three eighths of an inch in from the flap here so from this this edge of this flap, from this edge of this flap to the edge of this flap, this card is three eighths of an inch. And then I'm just going to draw my line, three eighths of an inch. The card is going to be centered on this, I haven't been frame. The card is going to be centered top to bottom on this flap. I'm using some repositional tape and then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to, once I make sure it's all lined up straight, I'm going to draw a line here because that is where I'm not going to be adhering tape. Now this is going to be a little pocket here. So I am just going to be adding tape on the card on three sides which means I'll be adding tape down this edge, here, and here. This I'm going to be covering with this. So I have this, this strip of paper left over. This is the eight by eight paper, and I'm just going to put that down like this. So it'll be peeking out, and then we're going to have a little card insert right in here. And, 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 a big and, we're going to be adding um, a ribbon here also. So this ribbon is going to be um, centered on this card. So I am going to find the center, get my ribbon, and put it down here, and then um, figure out where we're going to put it on this side. So let me get everything measured and centered. And you do the same. So what, remember, this is going to be 3 eighths of an inch in from this flap. You're going to center it pop, top to bottom. Find the center of your card here. And uh, that's where I'm going to be putting the ribbon. So let me get the center of this card. 
So I have my ribbon glued down. I used my Fabri-Tac. You can use any glue. And then I covered it with this, this packing tape that um, I like. It's really strong. And marked off my three quarters of an inch edging here. This is three quarters of an inch in. Got my little piece inked. Going to put this down. I can still see where my three quarters of an inch tick marks are. And then I will go over that again with my pencil. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere this down. Okay, so what I have done, I haven't adhered that um, Santa card yet. I found the center of this card and the center is this line. It's right underneath where I put the tape. I put the tape, I mean the ribbon, right above the center. And then I found the center on this flap. And then I drew my three quarters of an inch line. Can't see it. Three quarters of an inch line. There's my tick mark, so I just drew it all the way down. So then what I, I easy to do, you line this up, this center, here's the center, with this center, and then you line it up with that three quarters of an inch tick marks and that line that I drew. And then what I did, just to test it out, I put my repositional tape there See if that looks good, and then close it over, and that's how it's going to sit. Bring this in a little bit closer. So that's how it's going to sit, like that. So I like that. Um, I haven't adhered this down yet, but at least we know where we're going to be putting our tape. And I'm probably not going to be putting tape because I know when you put stuff in and there's tape, it gets sticky. So. I'll probably have to use my glue. Um, so I'll be gluing that down. And then once I get this all adhered down, then I'll add my ribbon underneath this gold, this gold card that I halfway adhered down. So let me go ahead and adhere this Santa card down. Okay, so we got our ribbon in. I erased all my markings. We have our little, our little pocket here now. So I can put some something in there. Now we're going to pull this over and then I got this ribbon underneath this gold card. I'm just going to line them up, make sure I pull it, they are both lined up straight. They look pretty good. Just want to make sure when we get the full length pulled. That looks pretty darn good. They look pretty even. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put some um, a squirt of glue in there probably some fabrifix um, in there just to make sure it holds down really well and then i will be back okay oh my goodness closures okay so i i, I just got everything glued down and i put um, some clips over the ribbon just so it, it it dries and adheres down and then I just went and put some clips all the way down and I put this piece of um, cardstock over so it doesn't leave an imprint on my designer paper and I just want this to make sure it adheres down especially since I pulled it back up I re I put some 
squirted some art glitter glue under there and now I just want it to set and I'm going to take a break and then I think we're done with this front page we'll see come back in 20-30 minutes okay so I think we finished the first part of our little mini album that looks so pretty so we open it up and we have this flap have to make a, a card insert so we'll do that make that this is going to be for some photos and then we open this and we come to this area so plenty of room for lots of stuff um, and I think that just looks so cute not real complicated and it looks so festive so that's the first the first part and now we're going to work on the second side <laughs> 